Hmm. Just wait for a sec. Hmm. Okay. Just wait just a sec. Just waiting a sec to see if my usual code comms are actually going to show up. That's long enough. All right. Anyway, so uh, welcome to a, another episode of Ranking of Shmups. Uh, tonight's well theme. I'm planning on having a theme. Th planning on just playing some random games, but with the games I picked, I ended up kind of selecting a theme uh, inadvertently. Um, and we are going to be doing shmups that are somewhat eco-friendly, I guess. Very natural shmups, except for maybe a handful. By a handful, I mean probably two. Um, but yeah, uh, so games involving animals and other natural uh, things, not just space shooty shmups. Although there will be plenty of that as well as natural elements. So why don't we go ahead and start with this? Um, after all, any, uh, thriving ecosystem needs to have a source of survival. And 
any surviving natural being has to procreate. So let's learn a bit, a little bit about let's learn a little bit about our type selection, particularly our type Leo. The next game in the R-Type franchise um, after two, although this, so this technically would be R-Type three, which is kind of funny because there is this flip you can turn it down. There. Um, so yeah, this is technically R-Type three, even though there is an actual R-Type three, but we won't be doing that today. Uh, it's an arcade release. Um, rather than be... This is a... I don't know if you would technically consider this a spin-off, but it is a... Definitely not like normal R-type games. Not, at least when you think of like the canonical... Or type games, excuse me. Um, so, um, why don't we go ahead and begin? 1992 release. Yep. I mean, kind of plays a little bit by our type, but there's one big difference in the fact that you don't get the normal, like, bite or bit. Or, no, it's force. A little thing in front of you. Um, instead, you get these little side side guns. Um, so, yeah, that is a, a bit different. I don't actually have a whole lot of experience with this game. Um, one thing you can do is uh that meter they have down there that pretty much covers uh that little making it kind of a homing shot and it'll recharge pretty quick but you don't have like a charge shot like the other r type games but in a lot of ways this actually feels very un r type which i mean considering we've only seen the older r type so far uh, that's not exactly a bad thing Um, your little side things can, in fact, guard bullets, but I don't know exactly how big their hitbox is. Yeah, pretty standard fare. Let's get the green one. So this is a bit different uh, laser type than normal. Um, this is a weird little search laser kind of thing, um, which is actually pretty decent. Um, also, depending upon what direction you look, um, is also changes like how your actual weapon works. I kind of want to see what the red thing does. This is kind of... Whoop. Also seems to be a lot more forgiving than other R-type games. Like, I, I think I might have set this to easy, but still. Three, two, one, let's go. I like that three, two, one, let's go thing. That's kind of a neat touch. Okay, let's see what the red thing does. Oh, this is interesting. So, with this, you kind of don't have a... Like, it's not one of the hold hold down the button and then fire kind of things. It is a kind of rap... Like, not rapidly tap, but kind of just... Whoop. Um, kind of rapidly tap, and then it will just... Shoot.
Let's go back to this thing. This thing seems pretty cool. Also, it's a pretty neat effect. Oh, gotta be careful. I think there is a... Uh, like, certain things at Gradius where you can destroy the columns. It doesn't seem to... Oh. That was dumb. Oh, it seems to be random. It's not something that you can break. Oh, oh, oh. Music seems okay. It's not there is it's not exactly prevalent, but then again, R type soundtracks never were. Oh yeah, and I keep on forgetting I have this. Oh, and you can uh, shoot the press the button again to uh kind of summon them back to you. So yeah. Three, two, one. one. Let's go. This seems interesting. Whoop. Let's get a blue. It does look like there's a two-step weapon upgrade system. I don't think it really needs more than two. Technically, it would be a three-step upgrade if you count the original of getting the thing. Oh, God damn. I saw that one coming straight, straight ahead. Just completely ran into it. Yeah, so, so far, this seems to actually be pretty decent. Like, it's not the most revolutionary shmup in the world, also, that kind of sucks that there isn't a whole lot I can do there. But oh well. Yeah, this doesn't seem, like, revolutionary, but... Um, it is a nice kind of difference than the normal... Well... Well, me saying, oh, that's not really revolutionary, but it does change up a little bit. Yeah, it's not the most, like... Doesn't do anything, like, super new, but it's actually pretty decent. Ah, oh, damn. Uh, Artek Leo. Ah, damn. Ah! This boss is kind of a dick. So how's it, how's it going, Willow? Uh, it's going good. Uh, probably about 10 minutes. This is my first game. Oh, okay. Let me just start. Damn it. That's why I was kind of a dick. I'm guessing our type Leo was something that was imported, uh, differences. It's no, I believe this is arcade only. Huh. Three, two, one. Let's go. Which is a shame, because it seems to actually be one of the better R type games. Yeah, it looks nice. Yeah, and yeah, also one thing I didn't mention uh, that was, and you've definitely seen, is the fact that when you die, you don't get sent back to a checkpoint. You actually start back where you were, which is a lot friendlier than normal. <laughs> I can't believe they're so gentle now. Yeah, it's weird, especially considering that this is the last time that, it, like, every other R-Type in the series was a, 
was like the standard, like what everything one thinks of our type. Um, Maybe it didn't do as well with their core demographic. Uh, also, cool? uh, I also I'd imagine an arcade only release probably didn't help. Now the game's actually starting to pick up. A little yeah, bit of credits. Okay. There's. It seems, little, yeah. it seems a little hard for me to tell when you die. Like it's so quick and instantaneous that it. Yeah. It takes a while to register that you died up until I see you like appear at the top uh, at the left. <laughs> okay, the game's definitely now starting to kick it up a little bit. I hope this isn't one of those games where uh, it starts to get way too punishing when you lose all your upgrades. Uh, it doesn't seem like it because you don't really like. I'm at max. Like two two power ups, and you're pretty much at max. And they and you always drop at least uh, drop one when you die. Does Leo not have the whole recapture the R type uh, thing that the other games used to have? Like the uh, little force thing? Mm -hmm. Uh, no. This just has your little side uh, things. Because it's kind of it kind of acts similar, but it's not quite the same. Because obviously you don't have something guarding the front; you have something guarding the sides. What's the theme for today? Uh, today's theme is a uh, rain, uh, eco-friendly shmups. What's so eco-friendly about? Kind of like uh, well, more like natural, like because our type being a thing that um, is. That has to do with like the way that uh, certain uh, natural beings reproduce. Oh. Um, it is Sorry, basically bio horror episode. <laughs> uh, not well. This is the only real bio horror one. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because um, I don't, I don't usually think green of uh, of our type, but I don't know if Leo has a uh, like. Outside of the, uh, aside from the temple that you were in, that looked very Aztec and jungly. I don't, yeah. I, I don't usually think our type for forested areas or swamps or jungles or you know not by yep. horror. Yeah, well, it is it is a shmup and well, can't gotta at least do a little bit of body horror with shmups. Kind of. Okay, yeah, it's starting to turn into an arcade game. <laughs> Gonna have to actually play, huh? <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah. And I keep on, th I keep on thinking those blue, th that blue, like the blue fire, is part of the uh, background. It most certainly is not. Oh, hey, these things. That I don't know why schmucks love. For the Little stacking block that Simon. Yeah, I have no idea. Oh, God. I don't know why. I... Fairly stage four, right? This seems like way ridiculous for stage uh, four. I think it, no, I think it's stage five. Is it? Yeah, I don't think it's stage no. Also, this this part is kind of a dick. Yeah, this seems ridiculous. Are you already at the end? Maybe I don't know, cause I mean it seems like. This kind of does seem like an end thing. I mean, it seems Got to have calmed down now. Yeah. This just reminded me of like the dun or the underground sections of just like Mario. Oh, that's. 
Ooh, this is this is a thing. Okay, this is straight up a Gradius boss. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if you see little action lines getting yeah. sucked in there, yeah. Doesn't really give you a lot of time to react though. Nah. Okay, it is, it is a little bit more. Yeah, because it, it does its like, oh, I'm full charging. Yeah, and the platform stopped moving. Which, I mean, yep. I guess it'll suck if they stop moving in a way that doesn't let you make your beat. No, they get destroyed anyway if they're right there. Okay. There we go. Mission all over. Oh, well, okay, apparently, well. Okay. Oh. Oh, hey! Speaking of body horror. Yep. I mean, it's our type. It's of the body horrorist of the body horror. Can't tell if these are frog eggs or tumors. Pro it's probably both. Frog egg tumors? Yes. Ah, uh, finally. Under the knife or trauma oh. center. Um, Jedi, I got, I got the stuff that I want to title back first second you were going to say Under the Knife Jedi Outcast, but... No, I was thinking of uh, Trauma Center, uh, the whole guilt yeah. mechanic. Yeah. I've never actually played any of those, so I wouldn't know. I enjoy them. Oh, do I have to destroy that? Oh. Uh, apparently oh. not, but it did trigger the security system. Apparently, yeah, but... I don't know if that was something... Can you avoid this? Because this looks like the sort of thing that you're like... Yeah. Oh. I think it's just... Okay, so just that whenever those spawns yeah, you... Whenever you touch them, you trigger them for the next section. Okay, we've hit the credit feeding part of the game. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, that. Oh. It is actually very surprisingly generous with the uh, whole you get a power up upon death. Because that means you will pretty much always have the little side things. Yeah, but it also looks like it doesn't account for, like, moving stages and stuff like that. Like, the power-up does not relocate, so it's easier for you yeah. to get Yeah, well, at least you, you start with invulnerabilities, so you can go quick reach it, or get it. Yeah, I guess that's nice. Oh, What the? Okay. Giant it's that, that little side thing from, or the uh, enemy from Gradius, except a lot... Oh, oh, come on! <laughs> oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> That's a bit rude. Uh, at least one of them despawned. Actually, it looks like you did. Oh, but I think I did that way too quick. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, hey. Definitely... You know, do you want some power-ups? Here's some power-ups. There we go. That's probably what I want. Not like... It's not like I'm going to get instantly killed. How do you? Oh, this looks... fun. This nope. looks somehow more fair than the two crafts that you just bought. No, oh, we have to see this guy's pattern, though. This just looks kind of basic. Oh, I see a laser beam coming out. Oh. Oh, that's... Not what I was expecting, but okay. Oh. Oh no. Excuse me. I'm, I'm glad that the invulnerability lasted long enough for that. Yeah.
There we go. Oh. Well, okay. So I guess they were frog eggs. That, um, have mobility? I'm not really sure how to feel about this body horror here. Actually, kind of cute in comparison to the most body horror. Also, the, the there we go. But also, the constant eggs are <laughs> throwing off my strategy of waiting for the side thing to be up. Oh no, your your game R type egg enemies died. That always bothers me about R-Type, like, usually what, whatever thing you were using the entire time has to die because you can also, you know, destroy the rest of the race. Yep. Hello. Hello. Uh, what have I missed? Uh, you missed oh, R-Type Leo. Are. Ah. So... Oh. Yeah, that, so, yeah, this doesn't look anything like the plot for our type usually is, because there's no, you know, Bido thing. Well, I mean, it sounds like the our type future stuff, where it's like the Bido was actually made by humans all along, blah, blah, blah. And this is essentially, hey, uh, this whole thing happened because a computer we made went bonkers. Oh. Does it count as foreshadowing? Oh, you didn't expect to get more letters. <laughs> oh, okay. Gonna put in Lolo D. Lolo D. Alright, so yeah, that was R Type Leo. I liked it. Yeah, it was surprisingly good. That's good. It was... It was short, right? It was... You did it in 10 minutes? Uh, well, let's see. I've been going for 28, so it took probably about... 20. So, anyway. We gotta rank it. So, I felt that was actually really good. Like, it wasn't a fantastic game or anything, but it was still... It was incredibly competent. Even, I'd say, even more than, say, competent. It had a lot of good ideas. It did, but it was such a short experience in comparison to other arcade games, right? That's Maybe that's why they, it was never ported. Like, it was too small a game. It could be, but uh, I'd say that's a, probably about right. So... I mean, if you weren't dying constantly... Yeah, you know, it was... Well, yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, because the first three levels, it was pretty manageable, but then it kicked up in the arcade um, later on. Um, but yeah, it's still pretty enjoyable. That's uh, yeah. So, I would say it definitely belongs in the blue. Let me just think. All right. Um, but how, how does it measure up? Let's see. Um... I would say it's at least in the caliber of Ray Force. Because let's see, Gyrus. I would play that over Gyrus. Okay. Let's I see, Salamander see 2. I'm thinking in between Gradius 3 and Salamander 2 because Salamander 2, it, it's actually in the same kind of ilk because Salamander 2 um, is very much a let's do something different. Well, like comparing Salamander to Gradius, not Salamander 2 to Salamander 1. Because uh, Salamander 2 is better than Salamander 1, but even then that's just a weird offshoot of Gradius, where this feels like a weird- this feels like the Salamander to, um, Gradius' R-type, R -type. yeah. So, in between? That sounds about right. Yeah. Oop, did I? What did I do? with that. Whoop! <laughs> Farewell, Salamander 2. Okay. 
this and this um there are type theo that is an irem game it's an arcade game in 1992 um, also, the music scene is a lot better than most um, IRM games that we've done so far, but I wouldn't say it's 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 one of those shmup or er, soundtracks that's there, but it's not great. But it's definitely better than nothing. Mm. This might be one of I those. Know, I felt like we went so quickly through it that I feel like we didn't really get to listen to the tracks, and it was just you and me. Should yeah, you this like play some tracks for Risen and Carnival. Um, I don't have any. Um, I don't have the OST. Well, oh. Let me see if let me see if I can quick find it. Um. Oh. So let's just assume it's better than Biometal. Let's see. Three, two, one. Let's go. This is funky. Yeah, it, it, very, it is a very 90s funk kind of thing for like a schmop soundtrack. I say... Um, and then also just another one. This is three, two, area one, three. Knock down uh, Battle of Midway, 1943 Battle of Midway. Yeah, I, I, yeah, that sounds about right. I don't, I don't feel better putting it better above Gradius soundtrack, but not terrible. Oh, can't do. Oh. Do cut and paste. Copy. Well, I just paste. invalidated a shmup. What did you do? Uh, Armed police bat rider. Oh, Jesus. Okay. So, all right. Why? It's already nine, Carnival. Or no, that soundtrack. No. Where is it in the Arm Poli Radio? Arm Police Bat Riders number two. Are you trying to get it above Radiant Silver Gun just to piss yes. off? Yes. Yes. All right. Turbo's okay. going to kill you. I know, but he's also going to validate Radiant Silver Gun himself, so. Okay, there. well, I've accepted it. All right. Oh, BRB, I forgot that I needed water for this. Oh. Well, crap, I did the entire rainbow. Um, here, I'll do this. Um, here. There. So, yeah. Someday later, I will eventually have to redo that. But that will not be tonight. That's fine. So, let's see. Yeah, uh, let's take a look at something else. I remember what the buttons do. There. There. Okay. So, um, so the next game will be actually the one that I actually named the episode on. And the thing that I needed to look at four different emulators in order to get it to work properly, because apparently a Torch Mame doesn't want to play nice. This is oh, Eco Fighters. That one looks really good. Oh. Um, I brought oh, this wow. game up. I brought this game up when we were talking about Forgotten Worlds, because it is kind of similar. The great cop Capcom also, I, think, I think I also have to... Is there, I wish there's... I surprised the copyright had United Mexican States on... Uh, yeah, because it's, it's the world version, which is like the MAME standard. Also, there uh... should be sound. A dread sphere. I wonder if there's just no sound for the track mode? That would but be yes. really weird. Yeah, that seems normal. I mean, don't they usually not have... Ah, uh, Dr. Light. Dr. Moly. Ah. 
But don't they normally not have sound for like the attract modes? Uh, usually that's set to start. So I'm actually going to get into the game. Okay, here we go. Dead. Okay. All right. So you can kind of see our ship has a little attachment. Yep. So kind of like the way that uh, Forgotten Worlds worked, you can actually rotate it. Nice. So, Except this time it's actually not a pain. Yeah. I can't remember exactly what the mechanism was, but I believe it. I don't believe it was a dial. Ew. Do you have to reach more? Yeah. Uh -huh. Like the that? Finger. Go ahead. I'm just saying that this is a shmup that I can get behind because you're fighting capitalism with bullets. Yes. I mean, if we're gonna do that, I mean. We're gonna look at Guerrilla War somewhere, sometime. True. The, the part of Which is, well, I guess technically would be fighting fascism, I guess? I can't remember. What was fascism Cuba? Is just what was. What was. What was. Crisis. What was. Uh, what was Cuba uh, under Spanish? Technically. A colonial. Yeah. Colonial power, so we're fighting imperialism. Yes. Yeah. And then when they got their independence, we put in the dictator, and then Fidel Castro happened and made everything better. So that, so you'd be doing that, because the game's the game is in Japan is literally called Kavar, and you're playing as it is a shmup in which you play as Fidel Castro and Che Guevara. That, that, that sounds amazing. <laughs> yeah, it is a very weird game. It sounds beautiful. Does the scientist still show up even though? The scientist is basically your start, like the person at the start. It's your Dr. Light. Pretty much. Wait, so destroying that deforestation machine stopped deforestation? Yes. Well, it stopped it for them so you could go kill some other capitalists. Yes, have you not, have you not seen Fern Gully? I mean, yeah, I've seen Fern Gully, but I didn't see, you know, a forest suddenly spring up from the ashes of that machine. Oh, that's a that's that's neat water fish. effect. Yeah. Oh no, evil robot turtles that pollute. By the way, I have... I don't seem to understand what this POW thing at the bottom does. It... Oh, I was gonna say, maybe it levels up your arm, but... No, because that's what the power-up does. Well, then I don't know. Let's see, do I... No, and I don't have a... I don't have a side shot. Maybe just increases raw damage. Could be. Or, or maybe just makes your charge shot charge faster. They've killed all of the dolphins in the ocean, so they have to... build robot evil dolphins. Oh, I think I think I know what it does. If you're not at arm level 3, it makes the robot that gives you the arm level up appear. Um, maybe. It might, yeah, that makes sense. Like, as soon as you hit 20, the arm robot showed up and gave you an arm level up. Oh, okay. That's kind of a roundabout way of doing it, but, uh, okay. Yeah, um, also, good. the the little attachment thing uh, does act as a shield. Okay. Cool. That's good. Yep. Can actually smack things away with it. Yes. Also, you can do this, but it's not very effective. Actually, it looks like you actually smacked the pufferfish and it actually swung away from where you smacked it. Okay, let's. Oh, yeah, that seems to be right. Yeah, that's it. I can't believe Roku figured out the mechanic. <laughs> it's a good mechanic. It's interesting. Very original. Oh, I guess it just. Any 20 time, not just level 3, just any time you hit yeah. 20, you get enough. Yep. Weird. I, I could have sworn that you hit 20 at some point, but you were, you didn't get another arm level up. Maybe it was because I was at a boss. Oh, maybe. Oh, that's yeah, that also. too. What is with this? this song. Yeah, what is with this general MIDI? music this pirate theme midi pirates it's like the donkey kong country ship theme oh this is 
very over it, but what is the nature of this <laughs> To pollute! That's what oh. the whole boat's purpose is. <laughs> oh wait. Oh no. What? I missed no, I missed no, some panels. <laughs> um was that Mother Earth trying to call for help? For you to get back in there and fight? I guess. That's not right. Apparently there is an arm level back, so... Yes. So that's... This thing was helpless, it couldn't even do anything to you. Yeah. It's still in the This This looks it's like... Suffering. This like looks like... Or feels like a UN squadron boss. Whoa. Yeah. Can you get the Also, I really like the uh, announcer. Can I yes. not kill that thing? Okay. I have to destroy the Chaos Emerald. But wait, isn't just letting this thing fall into the ocean kind of just as bad pollution-wise? My job here is done! I don't- Yeah, pretty much. I'm not gonna be able yeah, to tow that thing. Gonna... <laughs> it won't be, like, continuing to pollute. You know, you get some, like, a burst of pollution right now, but as opposed to long-term, continuous pollution. Fair, I get- As the rain is falling, this area is being filled with violence and death. I mean, acid rain is bad, but it... is this, like, some super acid rain? I have a feeling we'll find out. Acid rain made I mean, it's nice. being produced by this one very it. specific evil oh, sky God. fortress. We, we will never learn. I, I guess when you die from, like, a continued death, you get one. Yeah, it looks like I get a power-up that instantly puts me at max. I guess it's an incentive to make you put another quarter in. Yes. Yeah. You want to stop the evil capitalist by giving the evil capitalist your quarters. Yes. It is Capcom, it after all. Yeah. <laughs> capitalist Capitalist exactly. computers. It was right there all along. Uh, no, I mean, you've seen, you've seen Street Fighter V. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot the sky turtle in the ass to kill it. Oh god, it's Thunderbird 2. Did they just drop a barret? Oh, okay. Now it's a magma. Oh no, a baby turtle. Oh, that's kind of adorable. That it keeps getting smaller and smaller, but it's still a functional vehicle. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> the little tank. <laughs> the cute little baby tank. <laughs> That's amazing. Did you actually get hit by the billboards? Or oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, but the name of this game in Japan is Ultimate Ecology. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is the kind of ecology I can get behind. Oh. Action ecology. Oh, what the? <laughs> Hell yeah. I didn't let that thing last long enough. Wait, so you can actually change your arms if you wait? Yeah. Long? Holy oh shit, what is this thing? A mace for bludgeoning the capitalists? It becomes a okay, let's see. balloons of you. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, we got a mace. We got a little gun. Okay, here. Oh. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh. Oh no, my there we go. Oh, it's gone. It's that thing from Adventure Island. Hell yeah. Yeah. The little fire upgraded one. God damn it. This is my heart from Joe, right? Well, this changes everything. Yeah. Alright, Catcom. It just has things for producing smog on the bottom. Why? Wow. It's pure evil killer. It's, it's like a uh, boss from working like, on it. The first cat ratchet and clank. This is like a just this is like a Captain Planet villain. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's a stoop nukem. Yeah. 
We're, We're gonna ram this oil tanker into a beach where the seals live just because fuck seals. <laughs> That's why. Okay, let's see if there's. Okay, let's see. We got a mace. That thing. I'm sure. It... Oh damn it! Missed it. Okay. Looks like there was one uh, weapon type we haven't seen yet. I mean, the one that it was on before it went off screen was like the regular gun. It looked like. It looks a little bit wider though. True. Are okay, let's see. Because that oh no! Okay. Looks like I'll be kissing the ground. Okay. Whoa, uh, I can't keep up yet. I saw a Hawaiian girl. It was Mother Earth. Was it Mother Earth? Yeah. I would assume so with all this nature symbolism. Like Sonic the Hedgehog, this game has very potent environmentalist messages. Here we win. Yeah. Also, spin to win. Exactly. Always spin to win. Anyone who tells you otherwise is just a fool. See, spinning is an important power for eco fighters because it lets them, you know, experience what it's like to be Earth. Oh, Jesus, what? Grassy plains are turning into desert. desert. I don't think that's how. I'm... Desert? Okay. I don't think that's how it works, but sure. Yeah. I'm not exactly. Not I'm not against fighting air pollution, but I think your source might be wrong. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Stop that's, that evil that's... choo choo train. That's not how desertification okay. works, but whatever. Okay, it was this thing. Yep. Oh, this doesn't have a charge, it is just a rapid fire gun. Oh, the, oh yeah, this is the starting gun. Whoops. Whoops. Yeah. Uh, the one that we're missing is the one that actually looked like a gun. Uh, yeah, also. Oh, yeah, and there, that thing also is a side uh, sub weapon. Hell yeah. Whoop. Are there multiple sub weapons or just your? Uh, it looks like there was bomb. B and V. So I'm guessing bomb and like a missile. Okay, let's see. Um, it's the one after this thing. That... Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That works. <laughs> Laser sword. Does this have a charge? Nope. Okay, this one looks like you can just spin around. <laughs> spin to win. Yeah, it, se it seems to increase its range when you spin it, doesn't it? Yeah. Yep. That just does. It doesn't seem to do much damage, though. That's the only problem. Yeah. It's like it seems like when you focus fire, it seems to murder things effectively, so... Maybe the arm itself actually does more damage for this one. Like, if you, if you touch things with your tuning fork. As opposed to the laser point. Those look like geysers are causing the smog, not the train, but okay, whatever. There's trains and factories. Also, oh, damn. Also, I kind of want to go back to this, because this was just stupid. symbol is mighty. Yes. Well, all of the vehicles have been powered by a giant emerald, but it, I think yours is also powered by gems anyway? Except some of them are shaped like, you know, what's the word? Teardrops. <laughs> so they're more eco-friendly because they look like water. Yes. Oh, that's it. From here to the plane area. Okay. I guess this is the final area? It sound like it would solve any problems other than getting to a Yolk out of here, but okay, whatever. 
Look, yeah, we're but... trying to... We gotta get rid of this this extra terrestrial capitalist that's accelerating capitalism first. Then we'll deal with planetary capitalism. Yeah. Once the planet is free of space capitalism, it can become, you know, a home to space communism. Fully automatic. Alfred, fully automatic luxury space communism. Oh, gay space communism, excuse me. Yes. I forgot the important part about that. <laughs> <laughs> the kind of Tim Curry can be involved in. Yes. Space. Space. <laughs> uh, I want to play Red Alert now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I kind of wish Red Alert wasn't dead. Yeah. Yeah, kind of wish Command and Conquer itself wasn't dead. Yeah, but EA killed that with many other things. Yes. Oh, am I supposed to? Okay. <laughs> just blow right through it, hell yeah. You know what this music reminds me of? Like, the, the regular theme for this level? It reminds me of Ernest Evans. Wait, did the Hi. not update at all for the fact that we're indoors? I don't know, the, usually the sound chip for the CPS2 is not this midi-ish. Yeah. This might be because they removed uh, Che Guevara and Fidel Castro, maybe the music was much <laughs> Che Guevara, that, that is a completely different game. Oh, I thought it was just That's an SNK no. game from the mid 80s. <laughs> Alright, so conversation You do that a lot, don't you? Yeah, yeah. local, that's that's you got text. <laughs> Loco, god of confusion and disarray. Is there any difference between the teardrop shaped ones and the small diamond shaped ones? Um Maybe value. Yeah, yeah I think those are those are two. Oh, the teardrops are two? Yep. Oh. Also, I could have that. I think that sound effect of them shooting is from Section Z. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. A huge battleship. We'll get to those later. I <laughs> got damn it. This is tricky. This does not look at all like a Triceratops. What are you talking about? God what? damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> That sound effect from that thing shooting, I think it's from yeah. Section Z. Was it also Capcom? Yes. Oh, well, there we go. Except this game came out like eight years after that one. Well, they got the sound effect on file. Yeah, why, why make a new sound effect when you can reuse? See, it's eco-friendly, recycling. Reduce, reuse, I recycle. suppose. Alexa, I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> Oops, I thought I heard my name. Remember the three R's, Lola. Think about what this game is trying to teach you about environmentalism. Destroy capitalism? That's yeah. on R. We are going to destroy <laughs> capitalism. <laughs> Now join me, comrade. <laughs> comrade Lola. What is this comrade. thing? <laughs> it's you, but evil. Kill it. <laughs> it spins its weapon around just like Lolo. It's trying to copy him. It's false mockery. It was doing a poor job also. It doesn't have a maze. Also, yes. that, that attack is rude. Oop. Try to feed. 
boss has got a lot of health. Yeah, well, it's probably the final boss, so... True. The final boss is cute little munchkin. God damn it. <laughs> oh, and I just tried it off screen. I, I hope it didn't have a cool animation for it, though. No, we gotta go to space! Colonel go <laughs> Colonel. <laughs> That's not the right Colonel came. <laughs> He's not made of popcorn. Did he actually call us personally just to let us know? Also, I mean, also it's great because I had full I had no full intention to actually play through this. <laughs> But I guess that's what we're doing. Well, our own vehicle friendly game's gonna turn out to be surprise short games. Well, we'll see after. You'll see what I had planned after this, but then again, with the other games I've been doing, maybe it's good that we don't look at them for too long. That's ominous. A little bit, yeah. Mm hmm. Like, are there something even I wouldn't stomach? Uh. Not exactly, but some games that maybe we don't need to see the finish. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's me. You yep. just pushed me back. <laughs> That guy got fucking destroyed. Oh, oh jeez. Yes. Oh hey, it's this boss. Yeah, that boss. Trash tornado. My god, a trash elemental. It must be destroyed. It's a... Oh, okay. I got. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> I just love the little. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, is this gonna be a boss fight? Uh, boss rush? Yeah, boss, boss rush. rush. Hell yeah. But now you're even more powerful. With I, your think I, found the, I think I found the strategy. <laughs> <laughs> you got the strat. <laughs> um, what was the next boss? The ship? Up. Okay, are we gonna I don't know. do something? Uh, put your thing in front, I guess. Oh, okay. I, I thought you had to bust that open like the other one. Uh, manta rays. Are you gonna fight the airship again? Or the airship? Maybe just want to book in? Yeah, I guess it wants to book in the first and the last. Oh boy. Oh. oh okay. <laughs> Is this Mutoid Man? Perfect. Are we fighting Karnov? Yes. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Hey, Karnov is it a is... fire breathing bad genie man. He uh... was in Bad Dudes versus <laughs> Double Dragon Ninja. <laughs> I almost said Bad Dude okay. vs. Double Dragon it should be a great game, but not one that actually exists. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Those, those oh, Jesus. <laughs> what the? Oh, God. <laughs> that could go still out. Oh, no. Ah. That's rude. Why would you need a second pair of eyes get it underneath your skull front? Why wouldn't you? Need you? To, you need to load up all those weapons, Loco. Yeah. You're a capitalist. You know, why not just make your first set of eyes the He's creating eyes. jobs by well, building way For too what? many stupid weapons. <laughs> oh no, you downgraded. That's fine. We did it. We go, killed space capitalism. capitalism. Wait, so that was just a Wait, what? what shaped like him? What? What? Okay. <laughs> So we're not, we're not forgiving him with leaving? We no! We have, to final stage. Yeah. we have to kill capitalism! This has to be yeah, a- wow. I hope this is a boss rush or something that's not- Because it's like this game's gone on <laughs> far long enough. Yeah. You have said I'm that this impressed. is like- This is like the final battle about three times so far. The finalist of battles. I don't think this game understands what the final battle <laughs> means. One, this level actually set last. It's like Final, final Fantasy. Level. There's 15 of them. And many spin offs. Yes. Speaking of, speaking of Final Fantasy, have they announced 16 yet, I guess? I don't I'm making think, a joke. I don't think so. Because have they announced 16 that will then take a fucking. Ten years to get out, and then yeah, it, it, it actually watch reading. sixteen just be another MMO. That would make me sad. No, it's gonna be an anime first, and then a book, and then a game. But the game doesn't have any of the plot that we need for the book and the anime. I remember some. I forgot where I found. I thought this, but I remember final, hearing some of the Final Fantasy being based on a book. I remember going to like. Actually, no, I never remember the exact what the story. It was media play. To see uh, where, if that was an actual book, loaded, turns out that was not true. Also, maybe slightly nostalgic for media play. It's too unlimited. Yeah. What are we fighting? Mortal Kombat. Is this a boss from Cinema Mortal It's like it's a bubble core from Gradius. No, this is definitely the boss from City Yeah. <laughs> oh no, you changed He intended to do that. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't even have to- I don't even have to press the button for this. Wait, that wasn't even the final thing. The final, final fantasy. Wait, spin it around so you hit everything at the bottom. Why am I oh, fighting this thing again? I already fought an upgraded version of it earlier. I guess- I guess these are like the- Free mini bosses, I guess. Yeah. There, am I now doing the f the boss rush? Maybe. Okay, this has to be it. This, yes, oh, this, this, this is it. <laughs> this is it. Welcome to the Apple. It's the Corvette. Goddamn Cadillac. <laughs> My space caddy. I think they're taking the phrase space Corvette a bit too seriously. <laughs> <laughs> and it's beautiful. It has his face. Uh, oh, the hood on him. I destroyed it. 
Oh. I swear to you. Oh, what? Fresh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Robot is exactly what this needed. Why am I fighting Magic or C? Oh my god, you're right, it is Magic It is Magic Z. It's called Lightning. I love this game. Like on a very fundamental level. This is a good game. See, I miss this. I miss this design school of just let's be silly. Yeah. The I'm glad that this is in October, though, because it's a game all about the horrors of space capitalism. Yes. I don't know, man. This looks pretty attractive. That's the trap. Yeah. Capitalism will pretend to be good, but it will in fact be evil and exploit you. Yeah, but can I fight it as I Do yeah. I get to be a sweet 70s style mech? Yeah. <laughs> to fight space capitalism. If the missiles fire little missiles. It's a Merv. Yeah. Hush. Yep, this is Catcom Tyrion, and welcome. Thank you. We're fighting space yes, this, capitalism. Yes, this is Eco Fighters. This game did have, a, at one point, have an environmental message. <laughs> it just kind of got lost somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's more about the broader having to kill your boss. Having to kill this... Captain Planet, that's villain. Yeah. In the words of Godspeed, you Black Emperor, bosses hang. Okay. <laughs> so is he dead or just okay. Yes, we have to regain the. Okay, I'm about to say, you better take away control from me. Final stage clear, finally. Jesus Christ, I wasn't expecting that game to take that long. <laughs> it was now really good though. Eco stage. We've done we've gone for an hour and ten minutes, we've done two shmups. <laughs> also our our ship looks like a bird. Yeah. Yeah. Or, Space uh, birds. Or a uh, half dolphin, half something Wait, else. What? It's opponent message like Wally. So wait, we 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 descended. And that we is saw okay. I take it we were the guy on the left. Yeah. Well, look at the little chick with the bow tie. Look Unless at you the were player, chick with the bow tie. Maybe you were player two. Yeah. This is a two-player game, right? Yes, this is yeah. a two-player game. What a good yes, game. Thank her. God, this anime-ass music. <laughs> yeah. Why does the baby chick with a bow tie already have a, a crest? I don't know. Because it's a space also. chicken. With its moon cresta. The what? <laughs> it... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sensei. <laughs> Thank you, Bupo. <laughs> Aoi Mix. Waida. Tarabar. The Gamest. Oh, All of the bread. Thank you, Mori. Mori Keisuke. Alright. This is clearly better than Radiant Silver again. Cut. What's the button? Oh, uh, okay. Maybe press right, yeah. From Team Ecology. Alright. So yeah, that that was um that was Eco Fighters. Yeah. Drink this. It sure was.
went through the whole thing accidentally. Yeah. This is definitely That's... in purple at the very least. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely probably it's at well, it's at least pink. Let me just take a quick look. Well, that's what I meant. I for, I forget those yes. both look purple to me. Actually, technically, it'd be indigo, but who gives a shit? <laughs> indigo isn't a real color. Yeah, that's why he's pink. Um, yeah. I just think I had to look up to see what ten color hexco technically is pink or indigo, and that is supposedly it. That's pink. Um, okay, so let's take a look. Baron Speed number. Okay, Bear the Found Soldier. Boogie yeah. Wings. I would say it's better. Yeah, Battle Garaga. Uh, I'd yeah. say it's better than the arcade version of Battle Garaga. Better than Battle yeah. uh, Gar Radius Gaiden. Uh, better than mm -hmm. Night Striker. Better than New One Squadron. Yep. I'd say better probably than say, Cosmo Gang. The yeah. Video. Probably better than Gunak. Yeah. Probably better than Bosconian. Yes. Probably Despite better than Bosconian's Punkable. beautiful voice acting. Yes. This oh, game had oh, better, oh, almost better <laughs> voice acting. Um, Twinkle Star Sprites, I'd say, yeah. yeah. Warning Forever, I would, I would say. There's something so pure about Warning Forever that it's yeah. Yeah. Be. yeah, I'm thinking below Warning say, Forever. It'd yeah. probably be. Yeah. Um, okay, so. Oh, Fighters. I believe that was 92? Or no, wait, when was that? Oh, let's see. <laughs> oh great it's not a... whoops oh apparently apparently final burn uh sports uh safe states huh go figure hmm. um i forgot what the controls for final um well i can you know just whoop What button did I press that caused it to do that? Okay, anyway. Eco Fighters. Mount in 93. December of 93. But 93 nonetheless. There you go. Uh, it is a Capcom game for the arcade. And then music. Pretty good. Um, they were, it was very it, funky. It's good. Um, I don't know if I'd say I felt like I had any, like I had any major like theme that I'd say, oh, this is really good. Yeah, but it's definitely probably, not bad. Like I'd probably put it, like in the forties or fifties or forties. Uh, I wouldn't say forty because I'd say I had a better soundtrack than Artipleo, though. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'd say how about above Twinkle Star sprites? Yeah. Sure. Um, and then there, and then there, and then there. All right, so what I had planned for, no, actually, well, not what I had planned. Well, I'm still doing it, so it's not like I'm not going to do it. Um, thinking about, you know, shmups that have to do with natural life, there's a yep. pretty big franchise that kind of comes to mind. Mm -hmm. And that is the Darius series. Yes. We have taken a look at two of them so far. Um, there We have looked at Darius 1, and we've looked at Darius 2. Um, the next arcade release uh, from that series um, would not... Uh, there would be several games in between those two arcade releases. Uh, so I figure, why don't we go ahead and take a look? Um, also, there is a slight branching path to this. Um, so... Oh First off, um, so after Darius 2, uh, Darius had to release, or had a spinoff. Or a oh. game a game that is not technically a Darius game, but it is supposedly in the same canon. I have no idea how exactly that works, but it does. Why don't I load that up? Also, this game may or may not actually count as a shmup, so we'll see. And boy, this is a weird one. I love chicken salad. I saw that earlier. This is. Cybalion. Cybalion. 
Um, let the attract mode kind of speak for itself. Hell yeah. So, we control a giant space dragon. Nice. nice. Um, so oh, one thing about this power. game that is not apparent from what you see here, this is a ro this is actually a trackball game. What? Neat. Um, yeah, so you would control this rolling of like, like if you think about like Marble Madness. Yeah. Um, uh, actually, Terry, you joke about that, but there was actually a Super Darius in Super Darius 2. Um, they were on the Turbo, though. Uh, Turbo CD. But they're just ports of the arcade game. So, why don't we go ahead and try this? Um, by the way, I will be using the mouse to control this. So, if you see, this might lead to things. Horror. Mm. Okay. So yeah, here's the story. All right, let's try. Okay. Uh, by the way, this actually contains like randomized stages. Oh God, this controls like... Oh. Yeah, this definitely seems like this would be better on a trackball. Yeah, which <laughs> I do have, a, I do actually have own a trackball, like an arcade style trackball, but I didn't feel like bringing it out. Also, it was tough enough to get this thing to work, period, so... Fair not. Um, so, one thing that you might be noticing from those shots, um, as you are a giant space dragon, your hitbox is kind of large. Although, you can use your fire to, you know, destroy um, shots. Uh, the, you see, like, it shoots those, like, three little ball things out. Uh, there will also be ones that are just, like, a normal, like, spherical. Uh, also, it's going to be great because occasionally my mouse will actually like go outside the window, so um, I'll lose focus and just end up taking a hit or two. Oh no! Man, that was brutal. I think we we're not going to be at this game as long as you're ready. No fighters. Yeah. It's an interesting idea, but without an actual yeah. trackball. I don't think we're going to get very far, yeah. No, to be, although to be fair, I think with a trackball, it's still... You, yeah. get, you get the gist, but it's not... Sure, it's not the complete authentic experience, but you, you get the point. Yeah. It's a, I, so it's this a game, idea. So this game did receive some ports to Japanese home computers. Um, but there was also a version, because this normally was Japanese only, this is actually a prototype. Also, this is Avoid not at all... To protect your life. Yeah, this also was not the... When I did the testing, this is a completely different thing. Hmm. It's definitely a neat concept. Yeah. yeah, so the only port of this that actually came to, like, um, Western Shores... There's a there's a Super Nintendo port of this game. Um, oh yeah, that's where I recognize the name from. Yes. Um, which uh, has, like, completely different music. It was actually brought out by Victor Music in Europe, <laughs> which uh, is a... Kind of like JVC, it's a, a manufacturer of, like, car stereos. Ah. That for some ah. weird reason got into video game publishing. And they picked the valley out of all of them. Yeah. The well, yeah. I think yeah. I think the mech, the dragon mech, is civilian. Yes. Tyrion. Um, because uh, I think that's the case. But um, so this dragon actually would come back in later um, uh, Darius games as a boss. Particularly Dragon, uh, Darius Burst. Um, this, uh, features this as a boss. Uh, also, we won't be seeing it because I will not be playing this for much longer. Um, also, your hit, your, uh, there is very little, uh, hit protection. Yeah. Uh, so one of the things you can, like, um, sometimes after you beat stages, you'll get, like, a little partner with you. Uh, one of the main partners is, uh, a Silverhawk from Darius. 
and we're done. Um, one nice thing about this, when you continue, it basically, it puts you exactly where it, it, you lead off, even though, though it doesn't seem like it. Neat, 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 neat uh, concept. Fairly decent execution. Yep. Oh, dude. They tried. Yeah, they tried, and it's kind of awesome. Oh, wait, yeah. that's- is that- th are you doing those laser orbs? Yes. Uh, that's, yeah. um... So, the random- whatever random story it gave me, um... Gave me this power-up. Beautiful. That's kind of great, actually. History's first roguelite. E I don't, you're I don't out think of that's true at all. You joke, actually, the way this game, if it randomizes the power-up and the, like, actual level, yeah, technically. Uh, I, I'd say there's probably... Oh, I'm sure there's at least one point. other game, but it's like... Yeah. Oh god, this might be Legacy the really should have been called Civilian Legacy, honestly. But this probably does one of the like first examples of the major like yeah. uh, combining genres of shmup and and like rogue light light like elements. Rogue like like, like my favorite Zelda monster. Uh, that squeezed the mouse too hard, and I ended up playing music. <laughs> oh, ah, god. the Nautilus. Ah. Work those legs. Uh, see at the end yep. of this. There we go. Oh, yeah, like so right there. I have a little mini Darius ship with me. Yeah. Nice. Like, this is really cool. We should play it better. Yeah. yeah. Like, again, really unique. Yes, but... Yes. Got, 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 got. Get down there, there. there. Oh, it seems like this level is easier than the one I did before. Yeah, <laughs> that happens with randomized. Got, 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 got. Also, you bounce. Like, Bounce off things, which is kind of annoying. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, jeez. Uh. Yep. Not oh, that's enough. Okay, that's enough. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that is Cyvalian. Uh, um, yeah, it's technically into Darius Canaan, but, um, yeah, so I mean, figured to take Darius a look at it. Or the Darius ship. Yep. Well, let's see, where to rank this? I was gonna say, A, does that count as a shmup? I would say technically yes. Uh, Even though what were the rules of being a shmup again? Uh, let's see. Uh, the game must give you full movement around single axis. So we had, well, technically two. X and Z. Or yep. Z and or X and Y. X um, and Y. 
Uh, if you're not in control in some sort of craft, you must have no bill. A uh, moon bills are required for progression, which no jumping, which that's yep. there. Thus, game must uh, be purely reflex driven with primary focus on dodging projectiles, enemies, and destroying some sort of enemy. That's a yes. Yeah, yeah that. Yeah. Smash both an alternate genre such as fighting, su uh, such as Trunkle Source Sprites, racing such as Topple Zip or Kingdom Grand Prix, and Puzzle, uh, Zevious Confidential Nazo are allowed. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine then. Alright. So. Also. Uh, it so, hasn't aged well due to the controls? No, it is not. I w I'm thinking yellow at most. Yeah. Yeah. I'd probably put it in a bit of the higher, higher yellows, kind of, but... Well, okay, actually, let me think about this. So, our, our highest yellow is Air Fortress. Which... I I would say it's lower than Air Fortress. Yeah. Um, I would say it's. Mm, I actually I'd say it's better than Scat. Yeah, yeah. No, it's better than Scat. So yeah, I'm thinking it right there is fine. Yeah. Like it, it was clearly they were trying something new and different, so that gets it a lot of points in with me. That is a 1989 release. Yeah, that would have actually no, it's 1988. Uh, so that would have came out right uh, with Darius 2. Actually, where is Darius yeah. 2 on this? Actually, I think we lowered. We said Darius 2. Yeah, right here. Darius so 2. Been, yeah. Yeah. So it would have been right around the same time. Um. So yeah, did we want to work the soundtrack? Not really. Okay. Uh. Yeah, there is the only one track from the game that uh, is only is notable is there's one the layer level track that uh, got covered in a lot of when Zoon Tata, the uh, title sound team would play live. Uh, they would usually play the uh, one song from this game, but it's not that great of a song. I mean, it's good, but it's not bad. Yeah. Um. So in that case, so uh, so. There are now two paths that this uh, that the story would go. Let's see. Would you rather see home or what other Darius games would be between the two arcade games, or to see what was potentially become of Darius Three? Hmm. I'll leave this to you, Risen. Not sure. How about Darius Three? Okay. Or what would become of Darius Three? So yeah, uh, so there were Taito had um, there was a game that Taito was thinking about uh, for being Darius Three. Um, it was it would actually be um, a sequel to a completely unrelated game, or at least the um, the team that would work on it would be the team that would previously work on an, uh, a game that's completely unrelated to Darius, uh, which I'm actually going to show off because uh, I think we should at least see it. Space Gold Rush. Yes. Yes. But wouldn't be able to find so much gold, render it completely devalue it. Oh no. So. <laughs> this intro is very impressive. I'm going to say that. So this is Gun, Gun and Fr Gun and Frontier. Frontier. There is a, this supposedly actually has to do with an anime that's also called Gun Frontier. But from what everything that I've seen of this, it absolutely has zero connection to it other than the name and a slight weird futuristic Western uh, kind of vibe to it. I uh, like that your plane is just a revolver with wings. Uh, we will have to get a better picture of it when I do this. So those are our ships. 
of a revolver with wings. Amazing. <laughs> In the old west, even guns were our ships. Yes. Okay. So, uh, it is a ver okay. So this is a vertical schmump. Yeah. Now, actually, this um, had uh, has. So, if you remember, Battle Gear ago had the uh, thing where you would build up or pick up little small bombs in order to make up uh, a bigger bomb. This game yeah. actually has a system that is not quite the same, but very similar. Mm. Yep. Damn. Yes, dude. Gunblade, hold my beer. Whoa. God. What if the wings were also blades? What if the wings Combine were also the, sword, gun? the gun and planes? So as I pick up more, you can see underneath my bomb little indicator thing. As I pick up more bombs, uh, my it basically means that my thing will become more potent. Neat. And like there will be more explosions tied to it. Um, this is also a game that does not have auto fire by default, which is kind of kind of lame. Yeah. Also, this does seem to have a this does have a checkpoint system, with one major exception. Which is very nice. Uh oh. Also, it seems the checkpointing is fairly loose, so. That's good at least. You just don't understand the gun God front damn. here. God, I'm just. How did this one fit into the eco? Uh, I, cause I, in order to play the, ne ga the next game that, um, this would have something to, I'll, you will understand in a second. Okay. Because I, I you just give you a hint, I'm not going to be playing this for much longer, probably once we beat the first boss. If I can get to the first boss. Yeah. When I did the demo of this, I was got there just fine. Also, it's great that the uh, ship or the enemy ship uh, shoots out its shell casings because that totally isn't confusing for bullets. Yep. It's a nice, nice aesthetic touch that uh, can actually throw you off. Yeah. Do they not hit you actually? No, they don't. I'm actually oh. going to do this. There we go. Oh, the auto? This makes it will probably make it a little bit simpler, providing I can still dodge. Dodge. Yeah. You see, Carnival in the old west, men were guns, the women were guns, everyone was guns. It was a simpler, more, you know, wholesome yeah, just, time in our na nation's history. Just wait until we get to Bullshit. the boss. <laughs> <laughs> This is the future that con that congressman wanted. Also, I think that was a graphics glitch. God damn it. Yes. Wow. Oh, actually, I think I've worked forward. Yep. Yeah. God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> I will get there eventually. Got oh. Mm. Just Not like a Deus Ex character, I'm ready for my rusty metal skull gun. I think the boss is... There it is. Oh my god. It's a revolver tank. A oh, except revolver. now I wasn't talking to you. Um now, whenever you die, you actually respawn, which would be great if the entire game acted like that. Yeah. Yes. What a beautiful visual effect for representing the explosion of that gun tank. Yes, yeah, so yes. 
I'm going to totally not just ram into this thing so that I Oh can't my god, it. god. That <laughs> double shotgun looking fucking helicopter. Uh, that's so amazing. Also, it's manually reloading. Also, oh, whoops, I, I didn't continue. Oh no. Okay, so yeah, that was Gun. Oh. That was Gun Frontier. Gun and Frontier, excuse me. Okay. Oh, that's like yellow at best. That's, yeah. That, this is a very orange ish game, actually. I will almost, let's see. I would say I'd prefer Darius over Darius over it, but do I prefer Let's Steve? insult Super Hydra. Mm. It is better than Super Hydra. Harsh. <laughs> I I don't even know if I'd go that far. <laughs> um Yeah, but I would say it's Gun I would, and Frontier can justify its existence because it has unique visual designs where Super Hydra is just Clan. Okay. I, or not Contrab. What did I just do? No, you're confusing with Cuphead. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, it's just Gradius. Okay. Gun. Gun and Maybe frontier. if Locomolito made every spaceship a gun, I would give a shit about his visual designs. But he okay, cannot. let's see. 19... 1992. Uh, 1990. Okay. Ooh. And also, I'm just not going to bother the soundtrack. Yeah. Because it, it was there. 1990. Okay. So. The whole reason that I did Gun and Frontier was because the game that would eventually be up that was thought that might be Darius 3 um, actually came from the same team that developed Gun and Frontier, and the game that it actually became was even labeled as Gun and Frontier, or the Frontier, I think it was like Frontier Project 2, um, but it itself has zero to do with Gun and Frontier. Perfect. And I'll load that up right now. Gun and Frontier 2, Frontier Harder. Yeah. Frontier Boogaloo. See, see, Project Gun Frontier 2. And it even has the same opening kind of thing. From the sky area. You know, like usual. Yeah. What is the atmosphere? The sky area of Nemesis. So... They're beam arms. The beam was the big. Okay. A new alone. <laughs> eyes only. You cannot look at this with anything but eyes. Wait, this whole digital thing is a copy? It is kind of the schematic for this super advanced fighter. I'm just surprised that you would mark it as a copy when it's, you know, a digital file, <laughs> supposedly. Copy one of one. Yeah. Uh. Um, it's... what, what? Meta. So this is metal black. Um, this, um, yeah, we'll just let it play here. Um, yeah, as you can see, it is nothing to do with Gun and Frontier, um, which we'll see because this game uh, actually, actually not might be. This game is absolutely a, a whole hell of a lot better than Gun Frontier. So I'm gonna go ahead and start. Also give myself some credits. Also, I'm going to make sure the music's up, because this game actually has some pretty good music. Sure. Which actually tells the name of the music. 
So, oh. when you're playing, you'll actually, you'll, here is the new alone. Uh, so, as you pick it up, increase your beam power. And uh, uh, also, one good thing is, this game has very fast auto-fire. Uh, that if you just press the button, it'll do a fast auto-fire. If you hold it down, it kind of slows down. So, you kind of, if you want to get the maximum rate of fire, you kind of want to tap it. Right, also, right. um, if you cannot tell, uh, we are actually in Shinjuku. They completely destroyed Shinjuku. Okay. Why, why is there an aircraft? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh, my. Curtain crap. So, yeah. Uh, there's a reason why this game was thought to be Darius 3. <laughs> yeah. Ah, a crayfish. Um, so... One bad thing I would say about this, I don't know if bad is really the right word for it, but one thing that uh, is, you can kind of knock this game for is the fact that you only have one basic weapon. And that's mm. this. Uh, there is a, there is, you have another attack, but I'm waiting to hold on to that for a very specific reason. Is it good for killing bosses? Yes. Actually, yeah, killing bosses in a very specific way. Instantly? Uh, no. Also, I, I really like this track. Yes. It sounds very heroic for the fact that it's in a post-apocalyptic setting. Yes, it's born to be free. You are the last human survivor alive, and you were using this ship to blast the people that killed your planet. So this is a this is a suicide mission. Yes. Oh. All right. Why do we have a Ruga? <laughs> A large battleship approaches. This is definitely not a battleship of any kind. Oh, okay, they also got the so, Okay, so the attack. So he'll do this, which I get to. <laughs> you use it to get into a beam duel with the boss. <laughs> That's amazing. So yeah, your secondary attack is a giant laser that if you save to use it when the boss uses a very specific attack, you can engage in a duel, boss duel. Also, this game has one of my favorite boss death animations I've ever had, played, seen in the game. Is it this guy? Uh, no. It's all bosses die like this. Hell yeah. Okay. Is that a scan of the earth in, in that in Yeah. Function? All right. Also, after the stage, you do a bonus stage, which there are two of these in the game. Oh man, oh, encoding. The encoding is not loving this. <laughs> oh yeah, the encoding will hate that. Oh hell yeah, this is rad as fuck. <laughs> wow, no, I love this. This is yeah. awesome. Games with, well, with also, the time does freeze, as you can tell when it does that, so yeah. you yeah, aren't right. losing time by the missiles. Also, you can do this. Like, that's, this is a good game. Why did no. Super Hydra learn anything from this? <laughs> <laughs> like, no, why did more games do so? I would, I want to... Beam duel. <laughs> Wait, why, why are we attacking space? Oh, okay, they're hostile. All right. Yes. The, the, the first one didn't oh. look hostile. Also, also, when you die, you come back right there, and you don't lose anything. Also, there That's is something. Great. There is something about the music not being shown until like it actually kicks in that I find really satisfying. Yeah, I like it. It's a nice touch. Also you get Don't worry about that moon that doesn't seem to be moving even though it's flying this way. Is that gonna be the boss? Um, can't remember.
So do all the bosses have that uh, beam challenge? Yes. Nice. They will. Every boss will have some sort of. Oops! I thought that was a power up. <laughs> <laughs> Dark. Rude, uh, funnels. Yep. God damn. Also, there is something about the UI that I really like. Like, I like the digital clock. Yeah. Kind of thing. Oh no, time and space are bending. Or oh, we're moving faster, one of the two. I think it's we're supposed to be moving faster. Hello. 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 Hi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you missed some gems, Sorpo. I was busy doing something strange. What? Okay. The I only... was helping somebody. Hmm? The only uh, the only thing I was uh, that's kind of annoying is that when you continue, uh, you lose all your power. But that's it's pretty easily gained back. Uh, yeah, I can't tell if you have a small hitbox or if your shots are actually larger than you. Oh, your sh your box. shots are absolutely larger than you. Yeah, okay. which is actually kind of good because you can actually use it to hit things above you. Yeah, which I, I was gonna say is like that's the big thing is it makes it less likely to. Uh, also, the by the way, down. there's two moons. The moon. All right, Except it's time. this is no moon. <laughs> Shut God the damn fuck it. up. <laughs> it's an egg. <laughs> My God. It's adorable. A beautiful baby boy. A bouncing, beautiful baby boy. Well, you know what has to be done. Uh, yeah, I gotta wait for it to actually do the attack. Um, this know, one, ha but... this one has a little, a little bit of a more elaborate attack pattern. I know what game this is. I can't remember the name. Metal Black. So yeah. you see how it's dropping those orbs. Yep. Eh. Oh no. <laughs> it will shoot out a laser that will bounce off the orbs. So you got to pay attention. That's actually, really clever though. Actually. Yeah. Can you move the? Oh no! You can only just. The orbs move their own volition. Now, okay, well, when is it? Is it? No, it's coming up. There it is. <laughs> yeah! yeah. <laughs> it's so good every time. <laughs> God damn it. I don't care. It just immediately shit stomps you. <laughs> You won the laser duel, but I won the smash my face into the duel. Yeah, I'll take it. Worth it. Worth it. Also, Worth the fact that everything. also the fact that even during boss fights, you will see the uh, the the little energy things will be in the in the like the actual field. It's nice. Oh yeah, I forgot you can't do that. Yeah, it, they're, they're still power ups, even though you die to a boss. Mm. Yeah. It's almost like this is good game design, unlike certain other games. Yeah. I may be, I may be sick of watch this video again uh, yesterday. There we go. <laughs> uh, chat was asking, can you lose the duel? Uh, I think you can. By just not having enough beam level, I guess? Also, the, the encoding's probably gonna take a dump for about two seconds. <laughs> My eyes are taking a dump. I, I think yeah. it's gonna keep taking a dump, actually. No, no, yes, no. This know. is really cool. Is that... This is cool, but it's really rough visually. Yeah. <laughs> Like, yeah, because oh, this, eyes, this I mean, came out. No harm. There was no enemy, By the way, so. this game came out uh, 92, just to reiterate. Really? Nice. Huh. Yes. This does not look 92, but also that's because arcade cabinets could do a lot more. Yes. Oh no, our level. Like, there was shit in the late 80s that looked better than a lot of SNES shit. Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you also. Like, the game that I played earlier. Your favorite game involving a mecha dragon. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> because that technically does... So basically what I'm doing right now is I'm playing games that... Um, uh, because I'm like, oh, if they're, we're doing eco-friendly games, we're talking about, you know, aquatic games like Darius. So we're taking a look at, uh, so there will be two branches. We are currently on taking a look at the game that could could have potentially became Darius 3, except for a reason that will go, when we, or that will describe later once we get to the point. It's, it's pretty good, the reason. Also really weird, the reason. Yes. Oh, no. Mmm, get fucked. Yeah. That's rough. So are we gonna go- are we continuing to go through the entire game of this one, or...? Uh, I don't think this game's actually that long. I think it's like six stages? Um, and I do kind of- because the- the ending- I've never actually- because I've streamed this game like three times, but I've always stopped like probably at around right here. Um, the ending for this game- I stopped after like the first level. Yeah, the ending for this game is weird. Which is where I'll describe why this isn't Darius 3. <laughs> is it because it it's too good? Uh, yes. no. Well, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I love my powerful son, Metal Black. Yes. Who is also my wife. <laughs> 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 Shut the fuck up, get out of here. <laughs> oh, no, oh, by the way. Uh, Mr. Skitters. The bo- the bo- oh, so... Oh, okay. Dung Beetle. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, the boss of the stage is a Dung Beetle. This is an aquatic life! Yeah, so the bosses in this game are... Hysteria. Yeah, the bosses of this game are more insect-based, if you have not noticed already. Yeah. I mean, they make you think differently because the first okay, boss where is in it. Is it? When is it? Arthropoda. Nope, that's not it. Crap. Stop, stop. No! <laughs> what are you even doing? Ah, God! <laughs> <laughs> Beautifully shit stomped. Quite literally in this case. <laughs> This boss is okay, come on. This boss is a little bit tedious. Yeah. Just a little bit. When is it? When is it? I know it's coming. It hasn't done it yet. I know it's coming. Need just a little bit more. Okay, good. I don't know about theme duels. Soon. Must be the thing. It is getting very red. It keeps up us soon. Oh, there it is! No, oh, goddamn! Oh no! <laughs> uh, close enough. What, what a rude boy. <laughs> that worked. <laughs> yeah. God, you suck at this. Uh, also, why does it show the Earth every time it blows up? I don't know. I didn't Oops, here we go. Dung ball to be the source of Whoa, the right? what fresh hell is this? The flesh. Oh, so, the boss, right. oh god, this is uncomfortable. So, basically, the plot of this game is that you're uh, so you're supposed to go to whatever the planet is that um, one of the stars is Nemesis. Yep. The air. We stage. are now going through the uh, the Nemesis star. Also, if I remember correctly, the, ne the next stage music is really atmospheric. Mm -hmm. Do you have to destroy all of the enemies in this game? Uh, you get the, a bonus if you do. Okay. That seems exceptionally hard. A so lot the missile has to find the... <laughs> oh my god, that poor missile! <laughs> god. Where am I? Yeah, god. There we go. I kind of like this better when it was 30 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, it's great. The, your missiles cannot miss, so this is an entire, is an entire point of complete kind of waste of time. It just looks fancy. Yes. 
And why, why wouldn't you want Metal Soul of Thanks? That's, there's an entire okay, franchise there we go. built on that. Please, tell me more about Macross. <laughs> yep. Yep. Crystal Lise. Crystal Lise. Oh no. Our, our, no. our never Tell alone. Me sweet Crystal stuff. Lies. Yeah. Lies. Sweet Crystal oh. Lies. What did that do? Oh, what? Oh, oh. What did that. What did that magic Oh, it's reflecting off of it or something. Do those bubbles actually do anything other Uh they basically make it so that you can't shoot forward, but you can still take a hit. Nice. Yep. Yeah, I don't I like I it would be neat if they didn't stack. Yeah. Because they're using them a bit aggressively. Yeah. Yep. This is very much the quarter muncher level. Is this is this game short? Do you think we're gonna see all? Uh, I'm pretty sure this is the second to last stage. I will be able to tell by the music. Thought you said there were six. This is four. Yep. What was I supposed to do there? I, I think you were supposed to. No, this is five. No, this is no, Crystal Lies is four. Oh, is it? Okay. I can read. Hang on. Okay. Mambo fish. Ah, uh, here's the fish. Wait, did we just leave people? Lose people? Yeah, person? We, we lost, uh... Oops, misclick. Oh, okay. Bit tired there, buddy? Yep. So what was up with that green sunfish? Were, were those after images, or just... No, those were just enemies. Okay. Sunfish or tarot? Oh. I think... I think we're about to hit the boss. Already? Yep. They're a species that is oh, so Jesus. useless. Yeah, so good at being useless, just like me. Uh, uh, what is this? Whoop. A missile. What? Why did you touch it? <laughs> it was curious. Why okay. does it have a fin? Don't worry about it. It's a fish. Ew, gross. Wait, you were supposed to laser duel already? Apparently. Oh, that was the fucking jet. Okay, there are two stages. It had, it had the same sprite as the lasers. Yeah, the, I could have, I probably could have beam dueled it, but it wouldn't have paid because I wasn't uh, leveled up. It also didn't look like it was going to stay on screen long enough to actually take damage from it. My one complaint about the power up. Oh is, Jesus! Uh, is nice. Whoa, that is some body horror. Um, yeah, my one complaint about the power ups uh, is just that they take up a lot of visual space. Yeah. Yeah. Well, They're very distracting. It's like it's you're shooting each other's bullets out of the air. <laughs> Wrong series. <laughs> oh. The red ones go faster. Oh no. Uh oh. I told you, what you do is you do the base coat of red, <laughs> then you paint some flames on, and then you paint on a racing stripe. Oh no! Oh god! Yeah, you go it's hyper speed! Last. It's not gonna last! It's not gonna okay, the, the answer to can you lose the bean duel is yes, yes, you yes. can! <laughs> yes, you fucking can! <laughs> to have a level 6 beam level for free. Yeah, so yeah, what loses you is like two. minimum beam level. <laughs> maybe not fight two lasers at the same time like this boss can do. 
It still took Oh some my god, from... also this is <laughs> rude as shit. Yeah, because yeah. I wish this was in a late, the Darius burst, so then I could just turn around. Like, we have straight up hit quarter munching territory. God, I hate this segment. <laughs> Because I am shooting faster, it's just it always gets close enough that it doesn't seem like it's going to. God damn it. Are you supposed to do, be able to do anything about the things that drop more no leaves or never lungs or whatever their name was? Yep. Yeah, this is yep. super fucking rude. Yeah. yeah. And now if you don't cap out... Oh, oh, no. shit. oh, oh no. no! Oh, no, that, that's also a thing. You fuck that one royally. <laughs> if you get killed, it doesn't matter. <laughs> one day you'll get this right, Oh, Lola. okay. It's or not whatever. Oops, I got <laughs> One day I'll stop attacking my cat with the keyboard. Yeah. She knows what she did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's okay. two more stages. There's two more stages. Nemesis. But Christ. this song. I mean, I recognize Jupiter in the background. Are you gonna post the entire chain? Mm -hmm. Oh jeez. Yeah. Oh god. Ah jeez. What is that thing up in the past? Oh, what I'm saying is, this song is pretty good. Yeah. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, I just wish the music was louder. Yeah, yeah it does seem. Um. I could. I like that's not something you can fix, that is an in game thing only. Are you, are you gonna let those things fly past you? I can do that. Cause listen to this sweet fucking bass on this track. I got yes. Oh, so if you can't tell when the things attach onto me, they um, slow me down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But isn't that usually... That's pretty obvious. Oh wait, that's right, there's no speed up in this game, so it's... Nope. <laughs> nice. Uh oh. Oh god. Ah, oh, Jesus. And this still isn't quite as bad as the previous stage. Yeah. Oh, oh here we go. Um, a huge okay. battleship approaches. That's a pretty cool effect, though. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's this thing again. It's flying now. Oh, God. What? <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck is this thing? I don't know, but it's, oh, it's eating the new alone. Oh, let's get away from that. I thought it used to be, uh, what's the word? Uh, praying mantis type deal when we saw it and it was yellow back on Earth. It's more like, like a slug. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I see like chameleon eyes in those metallic things and the tongue that are uncurled out of it. But I don't know anymore. Oops. Oh. So the fact that it can turn invisible also reminds me of Chameleon. Okay. Get ready. It's go time soon. Mm, apparently not. He said soon. He never said when. When?
I just know it's eating up the particle, the minuscule particles. Good. I can't believe he's denying you. Of the laser duel. And it's not <laughs> yeah, he only yep, fired there. his laser once that entire fight. Oh, don't worry. Shame. All right. Yeah. Jump, jump, jump. Here we go. I really like this piece of music. The light tape since the light one? Where are yep. we? That's, that's not the name of the song. No, I'm looking at the thing. I'm trying to determine where we were. The Mirage of Mind, uh, Gaia. Nice! <laughs> Just immediately eat shit. Ooh, this is weird. I yes. Close Welcome to hell. <laughs> yeah. This is I've where the game becomes itself. <laughs> this is where the game comes for your quarters. Or yen, which whichever one really. Yeah. Oh. One hundred yen. Mm -hmm. But yes, this is the stage in which this game starts to become interesting. Yeah. Also, wait for the music to pick up. I like that. So, so the random water droplets turn into enemies, huh? It seems like it. Okay, but now the music's picked up. It's pretty good. Oh, hey, it's this thing. Oh, hey, it's that fucker. It's another one of the... The thing, whatever that thing is. Yep. Oh my god, this is a mess. Yeah. Like, I have a hard time following it, all of this around. Like, I could know I couldn't, I couldn't do this if I was actually playing. Yeah, this bit. Also, I can't exactly remember what it's like, but I, the boss of this area is pretty good. Um, oh no! Have you considered the orbs? Are we already fighting? Yep. Oh no! This uh, sweet ass thing, whatever the hell it is. Space dolphin. That's it's not a dolphin. Not like any dolphin I've ever seen. Made of tentacles. tentacles. No. You shoot the sack. That thing of a. Don't, I don't want to. Oh. <laughs> you uh, jump the gun a little bit there, buddy. Yep. Oh no! Now you're gonna get shit on for it. Oh, no, the tentacle hurts you, it's just the body itself doesn't. Uh, anything that's clear does not hurt you. Um, okay, what? Yep. Neat. As Are we, we doing damaged... that whole radiant silver gun and, and evolution no. thing again? No. This is something else. Oh, we're going 2001 A Space Odyssey. I see. No, you are fighting something that the, yeah. the beginning of the level told you what you're fighting. Oh, right, the Gaia Complex.
<laughs> Lord Tyrion knows what's up. Uh, I can't I believe a lot of shmups had more interesting stories than a lot of modern games. I don't think you should hang around. Nope. Oh, oh, I could have gone through that. Oh, so I was right. Again. That was this music surprise. Yeah, it's the level 2 music. It's cycling through the music as I damage it. Oh boy, are we, we're getting the horrors of mankind and how we... Are we just getting... We are getting environmentalism and capitalism is bad. Yeah. Today. I mean, that's how kind of eco-friendly messages kind of act. I mean, yeah. yes. Literally, you are fighting Gaia. Up, up. Yep. I'm really bad at timing that. One day, you will get that fucker off, and it will be gorgeous. Yeah. Oh no, we don't have enough energy! Oh, we both stalled. We did have it, it took energy enough out. Wait, what? Cat. Cat. Oh, by the way, uh, so we had a... Torpo, we, you missed it. We had a shmup valid or invalidation. Oh? <laughs> uh, Carnival invalidated armed police bat rider. Why? <laughs> Why I'm gonna have you? another. I have another go at number one. Why would you do this? I'm calling you out, Radiant Silver Gun. Why do you not like Radiant Silver Gun? It's more of to spite you more than anything else. I will destroy you and everything you love, Carnival, so help me. <laughs> I will end you in your pitiful, meager existence. Yep. Bring it on. I will crush you like Welp. a bug beneath my heel. <laughs> <laughs> you destroyed Earth. You literally destroyed Gaia, the will of the planet. Uh, we're gonna go fucking, um... I thought you said it wasn't doing the whole Radiant Silver Gun thing. We're gonna do Ava. No, cause there's no... We're dead. Okay. Yeah. No, we're just... So, the reason why this actually didn't become Darius 3 is because the plot is too depressing. <laughs> this isn't a game franchise where half the endings involve you dying in some way. But yes, uh, we end up getting launched into space. And then, who knows? After the Earth gets split in two. Seems like a good ending. So yeah, um, that is why Metal Black did not become Darius 3. Good. Hey, Car Car Carnival, how, how well would you say you've been taking care of your kidneys? <laughs> Pretty well, I guess. <laughs> good, 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 good. <laughs> oh. You're gonna try and cut it. I know what you're gonna try and do, and no, I'll poison my own kidneys before I let you sell them. This assumes it's your kidneys I'm going after. By the way, <laughs> you might want to check your balance to see if you might have magically gotten some fun bucks. <laughs> <laughs> so yes it's that, on so that um is in fact um uh yeah that, that's metal bike so we need to rank this um it's a good game it's it is a good uh, game blue pink at least yeah let's take a look i probably put it above zezix yeah Please. Yeah, I put it above Zazex. I'd probably put I put it above Final Soldier. What about Boogie Wings? Uh, I like Boogie Wings more, I'd put but it above I just Boogie like Wings. I like the whimsy more, but 
I like the depression more. Yeah, same. I like sad things. This is the Evangelion of shmups. I mean, you say that, but that's, like, not wrong. The Human Instrumentality Project. There's there's other much more Ava shit out there. Yeah. I mean, yeah, Cinemora. Okay, so how about... um, Let's see. How about Grady's Gaiden? Uh, yeah, I think it's better than Greatest Gaiden. Uh, Night Striker. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You went like, Squadron. As far as, yes. Like, straight up swamp, it's really good. Yeah. yeah. So let's see. Cosmo Gang. Sure. Uh, Gunnick. Yeah. Also, I can't believe we just played Final Fantasy Spirits within the shmup. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, that's the plot of Spirits Within. Spirits Within's really stupid, dude. I mean, As I knew that much. It, it is really dumb. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I knew that, but just does my dad have Spirits Within at home? Am I? I'm uh, pretty sure he does, but. You sweet summer mm-hmm. child. Okay. What about Bosconian? Yeah. Yeah. Like uh, legit, this is a fantastic schmo. Okay. Um. Now, you weren't here for Eco Fighters, but to those that were, what would you say about putting it above Eco Fighters? Eco Fighters has the same political message about the dangers of capitalism and the destruction of the environment, but with more whimsy and self reflection that um, Metal Black does not take the time to indulge in and instead also- focuses on giant missiles with brain eyes in them. Do you feel it's pretty bitchin'? I would prefer Eco Fighters. Yeah, Eco Fighters. Okay, I'd be down with that. Pretty good Darius 3. Yes. Metal Black. Kato. Um, Arcade. 1992. Uh, and Soundtrack. Oh, actually, that's going to work. Um, near the top. Second best, yeah. maybe, even. <laughs> I wouldn't put it that far. Um, so it's let's see. It's definitely better than Radiant Silver Gun. Okay, where did, where did I put that, even? 20. Oh, Radiant Silver Gun. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to shiv you in the kidneys, but you know what? <laughs> um, I mean, if you don't like the ranking, you could. Well, well I will kick it. your ass. Like you had to get your fun bucks, Torpo. If you want to challenge the ranking of something, you get to play by the same rules as everyone else. Um. Um. So I would say yeah, better than Shoaniki. I would also say better than Shoaniki. I would also um, say better. Than I would say better than Hydra. Night Striker's tough. Yeah. Put it between Night Striker and Hydra. Uh, well, let's see. Um, yeah, I'd put it. Uh, yeah, I'd put. I'd say Night Striker had a better soundtrack. I mean, they're by the team. It's by the same team, so it's like they're practically yeah. identical. Do this. This. Hmm. So let's see. Um, yeah. So we have that. So he, after that long interlude, um, yeah. we can actually. So <laughs> I kind of forgot. So while they were figuring out what would become Darius 3, um, yeah. they made two. Um, to uh, console only uh, Darius games. Um, the first one I already actually have a video of on there because at one point me and Torpo played a co op. But I will play it for a brief moment just to show it off and for um, official ranking purposes. Yes. Okay, but it was real fun to play co op. Yes. Even though you carried my ass upon your broad shoulders. <laughs> 
I mean, that's normal, though. Yes. Okay, nuts. first off, fuck you. Sumo does it every time you play co-op game. Oh, whoops. <laughs> to be fair, that's mostly because I'm busy fucking around. Yeah. Well, She's just better at video games than you. And she hates video games. Sure. Yeah, let's go with that. Yeah. Uh, also, did, okay, here we go. Thousands of years ago. The sentence of Proko and Tiet. God, just after looking da at Darius, it's like so. I'm uh, seeing, like, I should say, Metal yeah. Black. Yeah. This looks so, uh. Boy. I wouldn't quite say ugly, but yeah. They just cannot hold a candle to it. So, yes, this is Darius Twin. Uh, 1991, this is a SNES game. Ooh. Reason. There we go. Um, I'm just gonna show what the options are. I'm gonna put the live. That's on a pretty good me. sting. I'll yep. put on seven. I'll keep it on normal. So, up, oh, come on, up. Oh, what button? Up. Oh, there's a button. That. There we go. Okay. For some reason, it just didn't wanna. Locked. That's a really good sting, though. Mhm. Mm All right. Uh, so when we played it, I used a code to give us, a, I think it's 50 lives. Uh, I will not need that. Yeah, and we managed to tear through all of them. Well, I did, I should say. Um, because one thing about this game that actually kind of sucks is that there is no continues. Oh. Oh. Which, uh, that last, the last level of this game is a massive asshole. <laughs> Listen to that fucking SNES guitar, though. Yes. I'm getting fucking Mega Man X flashbacks. Oh, damn. Might I add, the, the SNES instruments were not the greatest. No. Okay, did... Did the damn shield just bounce off the stage? Yes, it did! Yeah. Damn. Get up! Mm. <laughs> nice. Fucking get right. Maybe I should have put it on easy to show it off. Get riggedy riggedy right. Ugh. Uh, that's it. This game has a lot of power grid, like power levels to its very. It, it does. Which uh, one thing to say actually about this compared to other Darius games is that uh, you have to keep your power level um, when you die, which is pretty nice. Oh, and then see what kills him. <laughs> Man, maybe you shouldn't suck so much. Yeah. I'll probably. I'll get <laughs> first boss. Uh, like legit odds are you will not see the maximum upgrades ever. Yeah. Yeah, because it takes like you will be within the fifth. Like if you're playing solo, you will play within get to like the fifth stage if you collect every single one already for max. But there is a bizarre number of power levels. Ah, Killer Higia. Hey, boss, that was actually in Darius 2. Like, this is some Mega Man X sounding music. Yep. It is. So there is one kind of major complaint that I have about this boss. What? You notice something? You mean how it keeps shooting projectiles that block your shots? No, the fact that I could beat that boss without moving. Except for moving oh. a little bit up and down. We will yep. see that in the next <laughs> stage. Because there is something that I've kind of discovered about this game, is that you can actually... T you don't have to move a lot. But then again, I was playing it on easy, so that could have been a bit. So, like, let's see. Okay. I'm just gonna sit right here, and let's see how far I get without moving. Okay. 
Except I'll, I'll kind of move to get the power up. I said you weren't moving. Well, I'm, okay, I'll get the power up, but that's about it. Well, you said you weren't moving. Oh no, charge missile. This is a really difficult game. I don't know how I died so many times. You didn't follow the perfect strat of not moving. Yeah. Also, there's a lot of weird sprite bugginess. Yes. Uh, this was relatively close to the system's launch. <laughs> they just eventually face off. <laughs> Movie timer scammed it. <laughs> this is depressing on a lot of levels. <laughs> uh, it's gonna make that strat even easier, aren't ya? Yep. I never actually realized this until I just tested it. I'm like, wait a minute. If I just stay here, do I just not get hit at all? Because basically, that's what, kind of the issue with the, like, the enemies. That just, it just seems like they just come in and it's like, oh, I'll just come in. And the set pattern that does not deviate from it at all. Warning. Uh, except I will need to move for this boss. So there's two of the enemies, uh, the Queen Fossil will shoot like those like little small beams and the Emperor uh, will shoot the, like that. As it turns out, the Empress's shots are completely pointless. Yeah. Really uh, this dude. is Darius Twin. Planet Lankus. Yes. Also, the binary tree sort of thing is, I guess, technically still there, but it's not as, you know, binary tree-ish. Yeah. Also, this level introduces a way that this game does difficulty that's not exactly good. Uh oh. Yeah, it uses the it uses environment to obscure stuff. Nobody was saying anything, so I was worried, so I decided to... Uh oh. Oh. No, there, there's just not a lot of things to say about this game. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Look, now I uh, It's just terrible. I remember why I died so much here. Yeah, because the... Th this... Scrolling goes all over the place, and it's not that good. Uh, yeah, no, there's no warning as to where the scrolling is going to go, either. Yeah. It doesn't even... It's like, oh, I guess I'll go over here. Uh, if only the enemies were harder like the first stage, so why don't we die? <laughs> I have an excuse not to play this game anymore. You can always run into the stage. That's cheating, though. Yeah. Also, yes, 
Now my now my shield is even better. That's okay, we'll get to the boss soon and then I can point out that it is actually a reference to another Taito game and then I can run into it and die. There we go. A huge battleship, Demon Sword, which is the name of another Taito game, which is actually technically the sequel to Legend of the Kage. Ooh. Beat ass. Oh no, my ship. Oh no, my shield went completely away. Are you running? I. Is that really just it's? I thought it had more than that. Oh no, I got shot. Oh no. Oh no, I got shot again. Oh no. And that's it. Yums. Mm -hmm. LDP. Chip ass. And that was Darius Twin. It sure was. All right. It was a thing. All right. So let's see. Kind of bland. Yeah. Now, why didn't they go with Metal Black? Wait, what? It's a man. Why didn't they go with Metal Black? I don't know. The only uh, system that Metal Black got uh, ported to, I believe, like of the time, uh, was the Saturn, I believe. So let's see. I just kind of went to bio, bio Metal. How's that game compared to Bio Metal? I don't even remember Bio Metal. Uh, from what I remember, Bio Metal, I'd say that Bio Metal is a better game than Darius Twin. Actually, how, sure. about, how about in comparison to Darius 2? That'd probably be better. Um, let's see. Mm. I would say that Darius 2 is almost better than Darius Twin. Yeah. And actually, I would say that's pretty much it, because I, I would say Darius Twin's better than Star Force. Uh, like, legit, I, I would think Twin was better if it had a continuous system, which it does yeah. not. You can quarter yeah. munch Darius 2. Also, Darius 2 had the stupid opening. Yes. Various twin. Taito. Mass. Uh, do we want to rank soundtrack? Not really. Alright. Uh, it's fine by me. Uh, except for one second. Oh, what is this? Oh, hey, we've had someone's requested invalidation of a shmup. Lola the Puzzle has requested that Battle Garaga be uh, be invalidated. I'm going to accept oh, that. Oh, you cheap ass bitch, you're doing that because you got the fucking remake. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you fucking give me that shit. Yeah. <laughs> It's not like you haven't been talking about this in, in the Discord. You be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so let's see. Um, yeah. So there is an, actually another Darius game for the SNES. Um, let me do this. Um, yeah. What I was gonna do. Okay, yes. So there was another Darius game on the SNES. Let me load that up real quick. Actually, I need to do something. Let's see, load content. And you need to load the right one. 
So, what did I miss after the end of um, Metal Black? Uh, well, you missed Aerith's twin. Oh. Wait, how, am I, how can you hear me if I'm in AFK jail? I don't know, actually. What the hell? Wait, can anyone else hear him? Hear what? <laughs> okay. Um, so the stream can hear it, and you can, apparently. I'm hey, talking to no, Loco no, right now. Me. Oh, okay. Uh, even though it says he's muted. Yeah. Uh, really weird. Yo. Okay, whatever, yeah, that's... That didn't work. Okay. Moving on. So I'm still marked as mute? Okay, cool. Actually, I wonder... Can I... That does not fix it. Fuck! <laughs> hold on, hold on. I'm just gonna mute myself and unmute myself. Let's see if that does it. Ta da! Yeah, it worked. Yeah. None of this made any sense. So, yeah, what did I miss after the end of Metal Black? There's one. And how was that? Uh, bland. Oh, okay. I'll load up the right one, and here we go. Is, is there something next on the agenda? Yes. Okay. Supernova. Which, uh, in Japan, was called Darius Force. Also, Lolo, the side stream in the media. Yep, I see it. Showing the list. Yep. Did we miss a lot of the cutscenes? Not really. Uh, basically, this man found weaponry. Um, blah blah blah. <laughs> Perfect. A lot of stupid nonsense. You get really waxing poetic for no <laughs> reason. I mean, isn't the, the shmup way is to wax poetic? Okay, so I'm gonna put I'm gonna put that on easy. Okay. Do this here. Then. Okay, so this one lets you. Switch. Um, also, I need to turn that down a little bit. God, that looks stupid. Yeah, so you have three different ships you can pick from. And it basically uh, chooses what kind of shot you want. Okay. So we've got the... Also, this shot looks horrible. It looks fun. In that sense that uh, it's kind of ridiculous. Oh, that looks kind of cool. You gotta get to level seven to get the cool ones. <laughs> yeah. And let's take a look at blue. Listen to that sound effect. Good sound effect. Alright, which one should I be? Um, the one that sounds right. like you're slapping something. Okay, but, but Lolo, how, what lengths do they go to to make this noise not sound annoying? Uh, none. <laughs> go with that one then. Alright. I will never not make fun of that game. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, this is... Also, just to warn you ahead of time, I'm going to be using judicious uh, rewinding for this. That's fine. Uh oh. You probably deserve it. 
Because what? Because let's take a look. Oh, when you die, <laughs> you go back to a checkpoint. Good. And it's pretty far back too. I love when games do that. Well, yeah, I'm glad games stopped doing that. Like, it's great, because this came out in 93, after a lot of different Darius games. Oh, oh, yeah, also, the fact that it comes from the back of the screen is always also great. Um, so... Oh my god. So, like, uh, maybe it's me being nitpicky, but I don't really like it showing, that, like, 200 every time you kill a group. Yeah, it's, it's like the original Darius, which is actually a great way to describe this game. Also, listen to that guitar. It's a good guitar. That general yeah, midi sound. very sad. <laughs> Fucking SNES guitar is the worst thing. Ow. Yep. I think I'm gonna head out, though, guy. Uh, I did. See yep. Good night. yourself. Yep. Screw you two. <laughs> <laughs> So, one great thing about this that they thought, because you know how in Darius how you had your main shot and your bomb? Um, they thought, hey, why don't we make it so that when you do shot and bomb at the same time, their power gets degraded to half? Why would you do that? Oops. They're like, oh, hey, I have like this powerful shot. Nope. Also, I can hit R and make it so that my bomb are a laser blast. Ooh. Except if I need to, except it's very slow and not that powerful. That sounds very situational, but okay. Yes. I want that power up. But guess what? We're fighting biohazard. Oh good. Eleven alert. It's approaching fast. It'll get here eventually, we promise. Just give it a little bit, okay? Don't be so impatient. What the fuck is this thing? It's biohazard, you're Shut the fuck up. This uh, is not I don't think this is an aquatic life form. No, just what is wrong with the music here? Sounds like a fucking circus kicked it down. Yes, yeah, the music's pretty not great. This whole game is not great. Yeah. Oh, I'm just waiting the till background's we see... real bad. Yeah, oh, just wait until we see the next level. I will see the next level and then I think I need to get to bed. I'm yeah, I, I, I will be enough. showing that off and then I will be turning the stream off. <laughs> Burn the stream down. Is that amazing? Oh, it's already over. It's 11. A winner is... Yes, I need to... I will then... After we see the next level, I will turn off the stream and then go drink copious amounts of water because I gotta get good blood drawn tomorrow. <laughs> so... What direction are we going? B or B? Oh, we're going C. Play. C for crap, much like this game. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Rose. If you hated yourself, could you play every stage in this game? Uh, I don't think it lets you. Okay. Yeah, the layout for a stage to like make you different, but I think it's still Darius. You you only get to go in the frantic pass. Yeah, yeah. this is bland. <laughs> no, just wait until you see what the gimmick of the stage is. 
<laughs> also, by the way, like it's garbage. Just wait. Oh no. Oh, oh. <laughs> no! Fuck that! How do you oh, like I mode seven? About that. Oop. <laughs> this is garbage. Yeah. Also, the answer to do they do anything to sound to make it not annoying? Then no. And it's it's not as bad as a Darius Twins moving stage because at least it's consistent. Yes. Yeah. But, but it's in the most obnoxious yeah. way like that. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. It's not consistent. <laughs> I was wrong. Also, by the way, now apparently I'm going backwards. <laughs> also, what is the stage sure. layout? <laughs> uh, don't worry about it. Uh, this is awful. Actually, this is worse than that Darius Twin stage. I take it back. Can't believe Darius Twin has been improved by sheer virtue of not being as bad as the thing that came after it. I think there's a very distinct reason why most people, when they design a shmup, they point you in the way that you're going to be moving towards. Yeah. You know, Especially shoot a game at where you can't turn around. Yeah. Hey, this would be yeah. fine if Lolo could turn around at all, but he can't. Nope. I don't think. Uh, I think you should end it here and rank it because I think we've seen everything we need to see. Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Yeah. Especially because you Although lose all your time kinda, uh, Oh yeah, that is also a thing. It looks like you lose everything. Also, let's see what happens when you game over. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> so that's pretty funny to see. Just okay, that is actually kind of good continue screen. <laughs> but yes, you have three credits. Yeah. Oh. No good credits are always a good thing. Never bad. Especially in my comms. Why would credits ever be bad? I bought a coin swap for my Super Nintendo. Okay, so yeah, that game is garbage. <laughs> yeah. At the bottom of the list. At the bottom of the Let's list. Let's make it a no. New it's not new that game. garbage. Pretty bad. It, I mean, it's bad. It's not Put it in red. Put it in red. It just yeah, it, it. it's going in red. Um, but where in red? Um. Below Baraduka, definitely. Is it better or worse than King's Knight? It is worse than King's Knight. It is worse than King's Knight. It is worse than 1942. It is worse than Cloudmaster. Um, it's worse than Space Invaders. 95. It is worse than Space Invaders. It is worse than Gauntlet. Um, it is less of an asshole than uh, Gradius 3 Arcade, but that's still so a better game. Maybe there. Um, I would still say Zaxxon's a better game. I would say even okay. Cresta's a better game. <laughs> Uh, Buck, Bumble. <laughs> I think this game deserves the insult of being worse than Buck Bumble. I'm fine with that. Notation. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I Congratulations, Bumble. Supernova. You are the third worst shmup ever developed, at least that we've ranked so far. Nice. That is 1993, mind you. They didn't learn from history. There is zero reason for that game to be that bad. Um, and I am. Maybe video games were a mistake. And I am having a hard time believing that we will find much that's worse than that. Although I'm sure we will find worse than that. So, 
yeah, that I'm, I was planning on taking actually a look at the, uh, um, next arcade Darius, but since we took a look fully at eco fighters and, uh, our type Leo, I don't have it in me tonight, but let's, uh, quick go over what, um, go over what we have ranked so far today. Um, so, uh, we took a look at our type Leo. That is our 33rd best ranked shmup. We took a look at Eco Fighters, which is our 14th rank, our 14th best ranked shmup. Then after that, we took a look at Gun Frontier, which was our 116th ranked shmup. And then Metal Black, which is our 15th ranked shmup. And then we took a look at Darius Twin, which is 108th, and Supernova, which is third worst. Yeah, it really kind of ran the gamut today, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Why are all the eco-friendly games except Metal Black so bad? <laughs> No, that's well, that's well, no. Ego Fighters yeah, is good. <laughs> I was gonna say Ego Fighters is the best game ranked shmup. Um, but yes, Metal Black was also not bad. No, Metal Black is pretty good. So yeah, um, with that, um, I will go ahead and say that I will be closing with that. Um. If you want to see something interesting, uh, I recommend that you tune in tomorrow because I will actually be bringing back the races, except I'll be doing a very different kind of race um, that I'm sure will totally not be a trash fire. Oh boy. Are you going to be participating this time? or? Uh, no, the, the way that it works, I can't because it would not make sense. You'd essentially be cheating. Yes. <laughs> Um, You'll understand what that means eventually. Yes. So, uh, with that, uh, thank you for joining me tonight. Uh, have a good night. Good night.